Hey everybody, Lucas Dole here at Dole's Tree Farm. Um, we are going to uh, give you a quick rundown of what it's going to look like to come visit the farm this year. Um, so uh, the first big change that you're going to notice is that if you're coming to get a Christmas tree, um, especially on any of our big weekends, the entrance is going to be in a completely different place. So uh, we are about halfway down our new parking area is where we are going to enter onto the farm and um, it's closer to get you out to the tree field. Um, and then the processing is gonna happen in a different place too, so that uh, basically what we're doing is we're separating all of the Christmas tree traffic um, from the wreaths and the food and the activities and all of that stuff. So um, one of the reasons for that is to try to help keep people spread out this year. So if you come out to get a Christmas tree, you're not gonna be up in the hustle and bustle of uh, the shoppers and, and people that are eating and things like that. Um, you can do those things completely separately um, so that we can stay spread out. So we're standing here at the entrance for this year. Um, so look for the, the old red truck and, and that is going to be um, where you're going to come on to the farm. So um, we're going to uh, hop on a ranger and drive down um, to uh, see how we're going to come out to the field. Um, one thing to remember if you are coming on opening day, um, if you have never been here before on opening day, it is very, very busy on opening day, especially uh, for the first two thirds of the day. Um, so keep that in mind. And um, if you have never been before, um, I would actually suggest thinking about coming a different day besides uh, Black Friday, um, just to try to avoid some of the crowd and lines and things like that. If you come that day, all of these carts will be in use very, very quickly. Um, and oftentimes there is a wait to get a cart. One alternative to using one of our tree carts is to get a tarp. Um, you're welcome to bring your own tarp and drag your tree up from the field on the tarp. If you forget or uh, get here and want to get a tarp, we will be selling them right here in the information booth uh, for $8. Um, and, and you'll get that tarp, use it, and then take it home with you. So, um, all right. Ready to ride? Okay, so I wanted to stop here really quick um, to make note of a couple of things. Um, first of all, you probably saw we drove by some of our pine trees. Those trees are for sale. Um, a lot of the white pines that we have for sale are right over here in that section. Um, and then also over here is all of our pre-cuts. So we did get a really good uh, selection of pre-cut Fraser firs in this year. One thing about that, um, all of the Frasers are going to be eight feet or taller. Um, any of the pre-cut trees that are under eight feet are actually gonna be some of our own pre-cut cananes, which will be right over here in this area as well. So if you're looking for a white pine or a Fraser fir, or would like to get a canane, but don't wanna go out to the field, Instead of going out to the field, which will be headed that way, you can head right over here and shop um, all of those types of trees. Um, the very large Frasers are actually in, uh, leaning up against the wagons here uh, out in this area as well so that they're nice and close to our processing area. Uh, this is also going to be where the saws will be located. Uh, right here around where I'm standing uh, will be where the saw rack will be. So you'll grab one of those on your way out to the field and then drop it back off on the rack um, as you come back up. Okay, so now here we are out in uh, the tree field um, where the majority of our trees are gonna be located. Um, we primarily have canane fir and uh, these are actually still, we're still in the sections that were left over last year. Um, so all of these trees that you see right here uh, to my left um, are trees that were sold out of last year, but you can see um, that there's still some very, very nice looking trees um, that we had left over from last year. Um, so 
with that in mind, um, we do not anticipate running out of Christmas trees this year because we have more in the field than we've ever had before. The only thing uh, about that is um, we still don't have a lot of height in the field. So the tallest tree that you're gonna find in the field is an eight foot, um, which is why all of our Frasers, we made sure to get larger than eight foot for those of you that want a larger tree. One of the reasons for that is we're still battling the 2012 drought effects. Um, and these trees are still younger than they should be um, to be for sale. But because of how many trees we lost in 2012 and the replanting process to recover from that, um, we ended up still with trees that are uh, shorter because they're a year or two younger than they're supposed to be. Uh, but we still have we still have a great selection. Uh, they're just mainly going to be uh, between six and eight feet tall and not anything larger than that. Uh, all the way down um, on the right side is for sale this year. And you can see the yellow rope roping off the left side. Uh, that is going to be next year's trees. So we will ask you to please stay out of those trees this year. Uh, all the trees that are for sale, you saw the signs as we rode out here, have tags on the tree. All of the cananes will have a red or pink looking tag. Um, has the height of the tree and the price of the tree um, right there on the tag so that while you're shopping out here in the field, you know exactly how much the tree will cost um, and how tall it is to know if it'll fit in your house. Um, so uh, all of these trees are for sale. There is way down there at the end where the, the white sign is, there is a section of white pine and scotch pine down there as well. Um, so if you don't find the pines up there nice and close, uh, then you're welcome to venture down to that section and, and check those trees out. Okay, so now uh, you can see that the way that we went out to the field and the way that we come back up from the field is basically down the same area. Uh, we just ask that you stay on one side headed out and on the other side coming back from the field. Um, once you get up here, you're gonna have a couple of options, especially on opening day because of how busy it is. We know several people want to just get their tree, pay for their tree and leave um, and not get their tree processed. And uh, to do that, you will want to go um, on in this line right here. Um, so this line is our express checkout line and you'll go down here to the right and uh, we'll, I'll show you the express checkout um, at, once we get up there. Uh, but the line will start right here for that. That means that your tree will not be handled by us at all. We won't shake it, we won't bale it. Um, essentially you will pay for your tree and then you'll take your tree um, out to your vehicle. One important thing to remember when doing that is you will not be able to take the cart that your tree is on out to your vehicle with you. Um, like I said, the demand for the carts is extremely high um, and we need to keep them as efficient as possible. So you will have to drop that cart off uh, basically where you got it um, on your way out to uh, the parking lot. If you want your tree processed, then you go on this side of the rope and head down um, this line this is where we will shake bale, um, shake and bale your tree. If you need help loading, we can help load. We'll talk about that in a little bit, um, but that will be down this way. We'll go ahead and walk this way. And there is no extra charge uh, for any of that, um, any of that uh, service. So the shaking, the baling, um, all of those types of things, uh, we do not charge extra to, to do those with your tree. Okay, so as we came up the gravel drive, this is where you're gonna first interact with um, some of our staff. Um, so the people that will um, that you'll come to first are going to find the tag on your tree for you. They're gonna give you the bottom portion of the tag and explain to you how you're gonna pay for your tree. Um, you will also um, have somebody um, cut the bottom branches off your tree if you wish to have that done. Um, and uh, if not, then you, you don't have to, but we will um, remove those bottom branches so you can get your tree into your tree stand. It's a good idea to know what kind of tree stand you either have or are going to get before you come so that you know how much space you need at the bottom of your tree. Um, you know if you need it drilled or not. 
Um, we do charge $5 if you need your tree drilled. The only reason to get your tree drilled is if you have a tree stand with about a five inch spike that actually physically holds your tree up. There is no other reason to get your tree drilled. Uh, it will not help it drink water better. Uh, there's no advantage to it. Save the $5 and, and pass on that if, uh, if you don't have one of those stands. So you will get uh, the branches cut off here. Typically that happens right at the start of the process. We've moved it back here again to try to help spread people out. Um, as we're coming up this way, this is where you're gonna check out uh, for your tree. You're gonna pay for your tree. So we've got three windows here um, that will all be um, cashiers uh, for you to pay for your tree. There will be two that are credit card only and one that is cash or credit. Uh, so please pay attention to that signage um, if you plan to use uh, cash uh, to pay for your tree. The express checkout is this line over here. So uh, you will be coming up on the other side of this rope up to that cashier. That is mainly just for opening day. We really usually don't need that um, after, after opening day. Uh, but Tree Express checkout will take cash or credit as well. If you want your tree drilled, you do need to pay for it um, when you pay for your tree. And they will give you a ticket to hand to your tree handler um, that is helping you get your tree processed. So after you pay for your tree, you're going to come up this way towards our processing area. And um, you'll see that we have three processing lines all set up. Um, so you will come up to this area right here. And then as soon as a tree handler becomes available, they will come and get you and your tree. And we will shake your tree and bale your tree um, we do ask that at least one member of your family stays with your tree and goes through that process with the tree handler, with your tree, uh, so that we don't separate you from the tree and you don't lose your tree. Um, so we'll come through the tent with the process. Okay, so after your tree has been processed, um, if you need uh, assistance getting your tree to your vehicle, um, we have courtesy carts. They're golf carts or Polaris Rangers that will come up, load your tree on there, load, and have one of you go with them and take your tree out to your vehicle for you if you need it. If you want to, you're welcome to just carry your tree from this point to wherever you're parked. Um, if you need uh, string or twine to tie your tree onto your vehicle. We provide all of that for you. Um, so you don't have to worry about bringing that if you don't wish to. If you need help tying your tree onto your vehicle, this is very important. Uh, we don't do it like we used to in that we don't have everybody pull up to one location to receive help loading or tying your tree. Here's what we do. Um, we get your tree to your vehicle through courtesy cart or you can take it to your vehicle yourself. And then if you are at your vehicle and need help, there's uh, several stations around the parking lot where these orange flags are located. All you have to do is grab one of these orange flags and hold it up in the air. And then um, as long as you have the flag up in the air, then our tree uh, tying uh, staff will know that you need help and they will come and find you at your vehicle. They will get your tree tied onto your vehicle for you and then you can be on your way um, or you can head up here uh, to shop, which is what we'll talk about next. So here we are at the entrance to the farm. If you are not uh, getting a Christmas tree or if you've already gotten your Christmas tree and want to come up and see what else we have to offer. So to my left is the brand new retail barn. Um, we'll actually end in there. Uh, but first we'll start over here with the feed bunk. So uh, our feed bunk is open on the first two weekends and um, during the first week between uh, weekends. Um, and we do have a new menu again this year. Um, so uh, it's actually not up yet, it's right here. So um, a couple of things that you'll notice on it. Um, we did bring back the pulled pork nachos and uh, they are um, even better than ever before. So. Um, if you were here during our fall season, you may have already tried those. Uh, but brand new for tree season is the soup. 
and um, soup and pretzel is the meal, or you can just get a cup of soup, and uh, and those are uh, we've got like a broccoli and cheddar and a country potato soup um, that that we're planning on serving. Um, so you'll get your food here, and then you can head through those double doors right down there, and there's some seating um, that's inside, uh, nice and warm for you to use. One other thing I wanted to mention very quickly, um, our restrooms. We have a men's restroom um, right here that is has three urinals and two stalls in it. Just through those double doors and to the left is a women's restroom that has four stalls in it. So if these two restrooms out here have a line, please feel free to go in and use those. But here are other two uh, restrooms that are also available, but they're both just single use. You can see we set up some lights this year. So uh, in the evening time, uh, we're still able to use this space and you can still come out and enjoy the farm. Um, we do close at six, uh, but, uh, but you're welcome to you know, come out and enjoy a cup of hot chocolate and just the ambiance of the farm. The, uh, what used to be the gift shop cabin is now just a, a, a hospitality cabin. We've got some checker games set up in there. We'll have the fireplace going. So it's just a uh, place to be able to step inside and, and get a break from the cold um, if you need. So over here uh, next to the old, uh, what was the gift shop cabin, the same spot that he's been for the last couple of years, we are having our kettle corn uh, uh, person back. Um, so that's Mountain Flower um, that will be coming and doing the kettle corn again. We've got our sugar shack right here. Um, so our fresh, fresh made uh, apple cider donuts um, and stroop waffles. And then right here underneath the tent, we'll have what we call our tabletop trees, which are two to three foot tall trees. Uh, great for either a kid's room or if you just want to put get a smaller tree and put it on a table or something. Uh, instead of having a bigger tree. Um, here we've got our uh, the Tree Farmers 12 Days of Christmas and it's a uh, story trail that you can follow the signs through uh, the, the Tree Farmers 12 Days of Christmas. We also sell this book in our retail space so uh, feel free to get a copy there. Um, we actually uh, participated in uh, the development of this book so uh, we were pretty excited uh, to do that a few years ago. Uh, down there, uh, there are some of our activities uh, set up, not near as many as we have during fall, but um, you are welcome to go down and use um, some of the stuff that's there. Now we're coming around to the reef barn. The reef barn is changing a little bit this year as well. Um, inside the reef barn, you'll be able to still see uh, our reef makers making reefs and the decorators decorating reefs. But um, the only thing that will be sold in the wreath barn is going to be custom orders. Uh, so um, any inventory, wreath inventory that you just want to shop will actually be located in the big red barn directly behind you. As you can see, we have uh, several wreaths and swags and garland and things around outside uh, of the barn as well. So stepping in here, you can see our reef barn um, staff has been very hard at work and uh, we are well stocked for um, the upcoming opening weekend. Um, it just really looks great in here. Uh, so Dan is showing you all the reefs. Over here we have a lot of the centerpieces, um, some table runners. So there's uh, tons of stuff to, to look and, and see and shop for the wreaths. Now we're headed into the new retail space. And uh, one thing that we do ask is that anytime you are inside any of our buildings that you do please put a mask on. Um, and um, anytime that you are unable to socially distance from other people, uh, we do ask that you wear a mask. Uh, but in here we've got um, everything Christmas and um, we do have uh, what, 16 uh, local vendors represented in, in this building um, 
with uh, some of their own either homemade things or um, you know the honey is local, the maple syrup is local, um, and we've got uh, just a really really good local representation this year with some of our consigners uh, that that are in the retail space. So, and if you weren't here during fall, um, you can then you don't know yet that we've started making our own fudge. And so that's a, been a really good addition as well. Um, and so you can either get our prepackaged fudge that makes a great stocking stuffer or gift, um, you know, co-worker gift, things like that. Uh, we have several, several different flavors of fudge available. And then over at the fudge counter, you can also get a, a fudge cut right there uh, to purchase as well. So once you've done all of your shopping, um, you'll check out here and then we'll be headed uh, back outside and back out to um, the parking lot where you can head to your vehicle. And that is uh, your tour. Um, so we hope to see you uh, sometime this Christmas tree season. Uh, again, if you uh, would rather not be here when it is crowded, we ask that you avoid opening day. Um, and outside of that, we think that our facilities will uh, be such that uh, people will be able to um, stay distance from one another and, and have a fun, safe um, holiday experience. So, um, so yeah, we hope to see you out here soon. And uh, either way, we hope that you guys have a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas.